Hello everyone, this is Young Sang Cho from Jadam. This video was taken a few months ago and we decided to dub this video to help you more on sprayer stick and the pipeline system for any pest control. For those who are into gardening small plot of your backyard, 20 liters of back sprayer is good enough for you. But for those people who farms in more than 300 square meter land, I would highly recommend this system for your farm. Let's begin with our weapon, the sprayer stick. This is so far one of the greatest setup I ever had. Unique part of this stick is that component right after the handle rotates freely to avoid hose to be entangled which will save you a lot of time organizing and easy spraying. Then after long hour of use, your wrist will get tired if you use product with the pipe fixed in one angle. This component is not very well known, so I'll put up a link so that you can also purchase one of these. And this whole stick is sold in ordinary hardware shop or on online. Some of you have already guessed it, this stick came out as an orchard pest sprayer and this specific nozzle has less power control in order to reach the top of the trees. Therefore, the nozzle is not suitable for small and medium sized crops. So I will be replacing it with Yamaha nozzle which is one of my favorite. Before going into action, the nozzle has its own diameter. Therefore, in my case, purchasing adapter is mandatory. Not all the nozzle and stick share the same size, so carefully choose your own size. When you are completed gathering all the components, now we will wrap the thread six times with Teflon tape to prevent leakage, then another six times on the other side as well. Once you are done wrapping, install the nozzle for your stick. If you closely look at here, there is mark written D6. This indicates the hole size and the number of holes. There are many different types from D5 to D6, D8, B7, and C6. Single and tiny hole nozzle is used when the crop is young and as it grows, you can change it to a larger hole and increase the number of holes. Then, Clean the nozzle whenever you have used the stick because any organic matter can block the nozzle anytime. These specific nozzle types are usually used with electric sprayer bag, but it will be useless if the hole is too big for its power. So I would recommend to use it with power sprayer. The next I will install the steel clamp in order to attach the volume control lever. Here's the yellow handle which is in charge of volume control. It is inconvenient while spraying, so I'm going to install clamp to fix the handle. The clamp size that I'm using is 8 to 10 millimeter. Once I install the clamp, the handle is not moving, right? Then I will connect the one touch fitting. You can search all the names online to find one yourself. I will use the Teflon for 10 times again. This component works as instant connection between the stick and the hose that is installed with one touch fitting. You can also control the volume of pest solution with this lever. Once you have finished installation, the spray stick is now completed. Now let's move on to the host line assembly. This is the host line that I made for you as an example. The diameter of this hose is 8.5 mm, which is very common size. The left side is fitted with the rotatable socket to prevent twisted hose that will be connected to power sprayer machine. You have guessed it right, this hose line will be placed 
in and out of your farm. So whenever you need to change the location due to short length, you can simply plug the other hose to spray. This will be installed in 10 different locations. If you have bigger land, you can also install more of these. Then here is a sub hose line for spraying pest solution. For this, I have chose 6.5 mm because it is lightweight and easy to carry around. Moreover, the overall power is a lot stronger due to its pressure. The entrance of main yellow hose will be connected with 3.5 horsepower sprayer machine, which is capable of spraying with 5 people all in the same time. Before the main hose, I'll show you how to assemble the sub hose. For the component, you'll need hex coupling hose and female control valve with two steel clamp. The coupling will be installed inside of the hose, but before that, I'll use two steel clamps to hold it tight. Then I'll use the teflon tape to wrap the thread to install the valve and one-touch fitting. Now the first step is clear and let me show you how one touch fitting works. Then I will repeat the same thing on the other side as well. You can now see the complete sub hose, although it is short because I'm just showing you as an example, but you can always, always make it longer depending on your needs. And let's assemble the main hose. For this one, I will use T-joint hose connector, hose connecting nipple, and hex coupling hose. Other than that, it would be the same. You can also use the steel clamp just like before to hold a hex coupling hose instead of buying the connecting nipple. Use the tool to hold one part and start rotating with other wrench. Repeat the same thing on the other side as well. Then next, I'll wrap the teflon on T-joint connector about 10 times. Once everything is completed, now it is time to install the control valve and one touch fitting.
Now the all the parts are assembled. When you are spraying, you can simply plug in and out. Install the hose with some other component so that it will be visible to you. In the early in this video, I've told you about rotatable connector for power sprayer. Now I will show you how to install that. Process is all same, just that I'm going to use the rotatable connector. We'll first insert the connecting nipple, then I'll wrap Teflon for 10 times and connect the hex coupling. Then on top of that, I'll install the rotatable hose for connecting with power sprayer. Now all the setup process is complete for your farm. All you need to do is place them in an area where you are going to spray. If you have more family or any worker, you can also prepare more spray stick. In my case, I prepared five because I have three kids and my wife. With this infrastructure, you will enjoy your farm life more than ever because things got much simpler and you can install the hose permanently. One of our principles of natural pest control is that whenever you make the mixture of solution, we recommend you to use it all at once. So which means when you are going to spray again after a few days, just turn the lever to flush all the previous solution for a couple of minutes. And during autumn, after farming, flush the water to clean the inner side of the hose. I tried to explain the pest control system simple as possible. I hope you have understood well. And thank you for watching and good luck with your farming. And I will see you next time with more interesting video.